even is still looking for a particular line looking for a particular right path and he needs guidance there so education has a very important role to play unless you are educated you cannot be civilized 11 o'clock it's double chemistry Josh and Charlotte are nowhere to be seen they are banking them my dad will obviously scold them a lot the school principal is hot on their trail I came to know that uh, two of our students have escaped without permission or they have gone out of the campus, so I need to find out what is a serious offence. Can I have a large dark coat? It was nice to get a bit of freedom. I feel, feel pretty good at the moment. <laughs> what can he do? What can, he can't do anything. He's not going like, to hit us. Not too bothered. The school's music teacher has finally tracked down Charlotte and Josh. I came to the class, but I couldn't find you. I told the teacher where I was. Without permission, you cannot go out of the class. Yeah. I'm certainly disappointed because I don't expect such behavior. Because ultimately, I'm responsible. So this kind of behavior is not at all acceptable. No, well, we, we appreciate it's wrong in your society now. Um, it, in ours, it's not. But we, we appreciate we shouldn't have broken the rules in yours. Take that out, please. So, the normal procedure will follow. Now, when you write here that this card is given to you for bunking class, going, I hope you won't do this again. We're sorry for the inconvenience that we caused to you and your staff. I appreciate that. There you go. Josh and Charlotte are being given a grey card, which they must present to Sanjeev to sign. Okay. All right, sorry about that. It's a serious punishment at St. Xavier's. Three of these, and a pupil is expelled. Seems <laughs> <laughs> to have become, yeah, very popular all of a sudden. Everyone's interested in the grey card. Yeah. It is green, but they call it grey, so, you know, who are we to judge? It just shows that this is like the most exciting thing that's obviously happened in a long time. If someone went to McDonald's during school, it's like, it just shows just how little happens in school or whatever. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of. We've, we've yet to speak to your dad. Ah, but, uh... All the best for that. <laughs> None of Sanjeev's children have ever received a grey card. Bunking is pure, simple indiscipline, nothing else. The school people take it very seriously, why should I not take it? In the Sharma household, bad behaviour brings shame on everybody. First to feel Sanjeev's wrath is Ankita. We decided this thing that they will go to your class. Then you have some responsibility towards them. I seriously didn't know where, where they were going. And they never told me. When they were going out, you should have accompanied them. No, but I have told you. They have taken I have told you that you have some responsibility towards them. Papa. Till they are in the school, they are in your responsibility. Tomorrow they may fight with somebody and you will sit in your class? Is this your responsibility? You just leave them in the school and uh, you enjoy yourself with all your, all your friends. Forget about that, you have two uh, brothers, sisters. Don't show this, this kind of behavior. Those two children, they don't understand this. There they don't have this kind of discipline. I told them they are not allowed to bunk classes. Today whatever has happened has happened. Am I clear? To, from tomorrow onward, act like a shadow. Don't let them go out of your eyes. Am I clear? No further arguments on this aspect. Now go and change. Come down. I found it very bad and very embarrassing about my reputation. It's just because of them, because of their actions. I've, first time I've been scolded because of someone else's fault. Josh and Charlotte finally arrive back home. The whole family is waiting for them, but it's Sanji they'll need to face. <laughs> this grey card has been given because of bunking class, going out of campus without permission. Who suggested amongst both of you that let's go out? We both decided it was kind of, um, we wanted to go uh, and get a drink. Um, so you couldn't get a drink in the canteen? We wanted food, we wanted to just get out of the school. 
because you got bored and suppose if you don't go to the school and stay in the at home for the entire day you will get more bored here i appreciate it yeah but yeah no 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 it's not appreciating see let us be very clear i am a very very clear man this is a very big embarrassment to me to the principal whom i had taken a special permission for your information before you had come down here i spent the entire day talking out that yes allow these two kids to stay with you in the school i said i want that they should understand what is an indian school so please and you promise me this nothing of this kind will happen tomorrow second thing both of you will not sit together in the class sit differently see you have come here to meet indians you are not meant for 7 days to stay together this line is very clear should be understood if you are not understand uh, understanding sorry i have a very different way of treating you then i am a very good friend if you are good friends with us am i clear any questions any problems we've apologized It's the end of it, really. Yeah, we've we've said we're sorry. We we literally can't do much more than that. Like they just made it perfectly clear that they just don't understand that we wanted to be by ourselves. It gets too much after a while living under their roof and being with them at school, and then coming home and eating with them fam as a family, and then going to sleep with them, and it's literally just constantly twenty four seven they're in your face all the time, and you just there is no way you can escape from it. The teens are reluctantly getting to grips with their new life. Well, well, what happened to you all today? 6 a.m. starts. Fuck's sake. Early morning exercise. <sighs> Sorts of that. And a relentless timetable of academic lessons. One angle is A, and another angle is C. The teens are well into their stay in India, but Sanjeev feels they're missing the point. He wants them to understand why he's such a disciplined parent. I know I'm a very strict man, but why I am, you will understand from all this. He's taking Josh and Charlotte to one of the poorest districts in Jaipur. I just wanted to show you what are the discrepancies. You know what is in society in India. You've seen the good part. There are many. poor people also India has more people living in poverty than any other country in the world 320 million men women and children live on less than 10 dollars a month lack of education has resulted in creating more of a poverty them than you can think of how do you find it josh I'm not getting out here. No. It's unbelievable. I don't see That's how they can survive. That's why I wanted to show you how lucky you are. I thought the rest of Jaipur was quite, quite poor, but this is people are just living in like, like two meter square boxes and just rubble. I bought my camera. <laughs> my camera would probably feed about sold it. Probably feed about 400 people for like about two days. So this is what you know makes you work harder. I've I've never really kind of uh, experienced anything like that um or seen anything like that at all before. <laughs> you can't argue against that kind of yeah. No one wants to live there. No one wants to live like that. So yeah, he's just dead right. It's not us that needs the point proving to. And we're not the ones that are going to be living in cardboard boxes if we don't do well here. At the end of the day, it really isn't going to affect me and Josh either way. Whether we've seen that or not, I mean, it's it's really awful to see. Just like mentally, it's awful to see, but it's not changed how I'm. My attitude is going to. It's not going to change how I'm like. How I feel when when we go back to school tomorrow. <laughs> It's 6 a.m. and halfway through Josh and Charlotte's stay in India. Josh is up and ready for another school day. Charlotte is still in bed. Charlotte, do you want to come to school today? Good morning.